Welcome, one and all, to the show. And it's time to meet our top buzzer, Buzz. Yes! Thanks, Greg. I am Buzz, your friendly neighborhood host. Yes, 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 yes! Let's go! To join the game, just grab a buzzer. Played before? You can load up your profile from last time. If not, you'll need to create a new one. Those who've buzzed before, simply select your profile using the colored button, then hit your buzzer. If you want to make some changes to your profile, now's the time to do it. That's it, we're done, let's go. What light do yonder podium breaks? Contestants, but who's playing? Sid has last game's top of the scoreboard still got a head for heights. Jonesy, playing this game for the very first time. Nate, big man, looking pretty snazzy. All introduced, lovely, let's go. Build up those points and stack your score high. This is Point Builder. No need for speed in this round. Just select your answer with the colored buttons in your own time. Let's load up our first question. Which helpful system enables use of one of these? Really think that's right? <laughs> what do we have for the second question? Who's this baby faced war hero? <laughs> Jonesy! Heavens to Betsy! You are still with us! Jonesy! Look around! You're clever, they're not! Do your dance! Where does this hitmaker call home? <laughs> well, one thing I do know, someone's definitely wrong. Big man, still traveling at Fact Factor None? Which board game inspired a 1985 movie? <laughs> Harmonious answering on this one. Well buzzed, everyone. Who always carried one of these in Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing? Nate! Hmm, actually, I'm surprised you went for that. Someone's falling behind. Choppy chop! Which well-seasoned man of song led this band? That 
That's right. You people are far too cool to answer in a reasonable time. Let's keep constructing those towers of points. What word for a gadget is also the name of a main character in the movie Gremlins? <laughs> Nate! Your round is not going so well. Which woman of history shares her name with this actress? Drink them up because they were the last points of the round. With the first round out of the way, let's check out the positions. At the bottom of the board. And it's a tie at the top. Who's gonna choose for us? I'm gonna let the newbie have a go. High fight, coming right up. You. It's time for a little payback, served with a dash of spite and a side of bitterness. Pie fight! The answers will slowly be revealed on screen. First in with the colored buttons gets control of the pie. <laughs> what took place between around 110,000 years ago and 10,000 years ago? Hit that buzzer to stop on a player. Squash! Eyes cost lives, people. And you only get two lives each. So watch it. What phrase is often abbreviated to DIY? This pie's got some... Look out. Nate, you live to pie for at least one more question. Buddy Epson played which TV detective? <laughs> Sid, you win. The Watch out! Uh oh. Get the hearse on standby. We've got a contestant at death's door. In which U.S. state would you find more than 400,000 Cajuns? Sid! It's up! Sid, your pie-to-eye coordination slightly off, is it? Don't even try and say you meant to do that. According to myth, how many perfect lives do cats have? Everyone's tasted the pie. Take this! Sid, time to eat humble pie. You're out first! What actor from Night Court played Sergeant Slater on the show Sabrina the Teenage Witch? I only wanted the right answer. This was it. 
How many nanometers are there in a meter? It's not a myth. The correct answer, it exists. In 1992, Andrew Lloyd Webber had a hit single with a remix of music from which video game? Nate! You're the up It's pieing time! It's not the winning that matters. It's the... Well, actually, it's all about the winning, really. Two still in. Here we go! Who is Monica's friendly older brother? Here's the answer, just so you know. In 2010, on which day of the week will we be opening Christmas presents? The answer I was looking for? This. What are programs put on web pages by third parties called? Person off pie. It's time to make a swift exit from this round. Right, that's it. Pie no more. We have a champ. Before we snuggle up to the next round, let us take stock of the scores. Dwindling at the bottom. Third. Second, and Firsty with first, Jonesy. Time to start dealing from the bottom of the pack. Come on, Lastorino, choose for us. Ooh, snappy with your fingers, eh? Some fingers are faster than others, and here's where we find out which. It's fastest finger! In this round, the faster the answer, the more points you'll rake in. Who's the famous sister of this wonderful winner? That was a proper clash of buzzers. <laughs> Incoming! It's question two. Which supermodel married this lucky fellow in 1992? <laughs> Oh dear, should I make things easier for you? Who's this marine mirth maker? <laughs> wow, we couldn't separate you guys on that question. What happened to American runner Mary Decker at the 1984 Olympics? Let's hope one of you gets a points infusion. Is anyone going to make a run up the leaderboard? This great leader was famously told to beware of which timely danger. Oh my word, is this round called Glacially Slow Finger? No, it's Fastest Finger, people! 
Three questions to go. Voiceover fellow, let's hear your actual voice. What is being refracted here? Now that was close. An easy one, huh? Okay. What baseball player was known as Mr. October? All right, two clean sheets in a row. That's well played, people. Who scored 100 points in a pro game of this sport? That's three in a row right from you all. Rock and roll. Okay, round over. It's time to reveal who's top and who's a flop. Propping up the pros. Third, second, and holding on to that lead, Jonesy. Nate, can it be true? You've never done this before? Do it now! Pick one! Yeah! Let's juggle some high explosives! <laughs> Time for some Big Bang Theory! Get caught out and go boom! This is Short Fuse. Answer right to lose the bomb. Here it comes. Johnny Depp owned which Hollywood nightclub in the 1990s? Nah. What was the capital city of Japan before Tokyo? No. When did Eddie Cochran... Sid! Was there some shrapnel in your trivia glands? Get it right to move it on. Yeah? Big man! Here it comes! Which of these actors has never played Count Dracula? No! What is the lowest place in North America? No! Public Enemy made friends with which rec... A textbook example of why not tossing the bomb leads to an explosion in the face. Okay, last bomb. Here it comes. Ben Stiller spends a spooky night at the where? Not a chance. How do we often describe the warming of the... Very wrong indeed. What instrument do you associate with wild man... I find pleasure in simple things. A spring morning, birdsong, the explosion of bombs, humiliation... Puppies. Another round bites the dust. Who's in with a bang, and who's out for the count? At the back of the pack! Third, second, and still in charge of this game, Jonesy! Nate! I'm gonna let you have a go at this. Select one if you please. All 
right, folks, get ready to toss a bomb around. The explosives are armed and they're targeting your points. This is Short Fuse. Here comes a bomb. Answer right to lose it. Who is the main character in the musical Gypsy? Oh no! Joan of Arc was an important military leader in which country? Good answer. What professional baseball team produced the only perfect game in World Series? Indeedy. Philosopher René Descartes is famous for the phrase cogito ergo sum, meaning what? No way, Jose! How is William I of England better known? Sorry! On which boxers? Big man! If you're gonna keep getting them wrong, I'm afraid you have to pay the explosive price. Sid! It's yours! Who started his literary career with great expectation? Pass it on! Pass it on! Who incensed Adolf Hitler by winning four gold medals at the 1936 Olympics? No! The Chicago Bulls drafted Michael Jordan after which team selected Kentucky's Sam Bowie? Oh, come on! In a theater... Nothing says you made a mistake like a few kilograms of high explosive. Lovely! The fuse is lit. Let's go! Who clambered on board a beagle in December 1831 and came off smelling of intellectual... Nope. What colorful baseball team won the 2007 World Series? Don't hang on to it. <laughs> what do you call a piece of art focusing on one or more people? How is it that simple gunpowder, metal, and an unpredictable fuse can be so much fun? Right, with that round over, let's see who's on top for the final showdown. Bumping along at the bottom. Third, second, and keeping hold of first place, Josie. is nigh. One round remains. Strap yourself in and prepare for launch. This is the final countdown. Points, points. What you want is time. And the more points you've scored, the more seconds you win. Make sure you answer quickly though, as time is constantly ticking. Ready for the question? Here it comes! Which country is nicknamed the Land of Ice and Fire? <laughs> the contestant who answered fastest gets time added and moves away from danger. How was the fear-inducing year 2000 problem on computers often known? Wrong answers drop your podium, people. Careful not to drop to the floor or you're out. What was the name of Roseanne Barr's character on the show Roseanne? Yeah. Yeah. Big Man. 
your dicing with death. Get this next one wrong at your peril. Which celebrated Native American married the Englishman John Rolfe in 1614? Deoxyribonucleic acid is a more complicated name for what? Gonna have to speed it up, guys. Your buzzing time's been cold. On the HBO drama The Sopranos, what horse does Tony Soprano become <laughs> fond of? <laughs> Big man! Get this wrong, and things are looking dodgy. You need this. What catastrophe occurred around the Indian Ocean on the day after Christmas 2004? Careful! That's all I'm saying! Which Apple product was named Invention of the Year by Time Magazine in 2007? Big Man! That was not what I like to call a good answer. You're in dangerous waters. In 1969 to 1971's The Bill Cosby Show, Cosby played a teacher of what subject? <laughs> Open that trap door and shove that player through. It's game over. Who was the Caribbean Sea named after? <laughs> People, pace is picking up now. Buzz faster. If the father of a liger is a lion, then what is its mother? Sid, you really needed that question. Well done. Which creatures similar to Pokemon also starred in a cartoon? Elimination beckons for two unlucky players. Sorry to see you go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Buzz, tell us what prize we've got for our top dog. Have I got a little something for you? Still, it's nothing to be sneezed at. Achoo! Uh-oh. He's back! Oh, sweet little boomerang bonza.